Our series Unplugged Under 40, it kicked off about a year ago. Kaylee Hartung has profiled in that time since then. Everyone from Top Chef winner Chief Spike to White House Communications Deputy Director Jen Psaki. But the interview that started all of it for Kaylee was with one of the youngest members on Capitol Hill, Aaron Schock, a 29-year-old Republican from Illinois. Well, recently Kaylee caught up again with him and to see what he's been up to since they talked last. Take a look. What has surprised you most about the way Washington works? Well, I think as expected, um, I came from the State House uh, two years ago and I was able to work very well in a bipartisan way in the State House in Illinois, even though I was in the minority. It's been more difficult in Washington, D.C. D.C. is a very partisan place. Um, the, the leadership here on both sides tends to drive the agenda more than even the individual members, so it makes it more difficult to work across the aisle. And the campus is so much larger. You have 435 members and we're really only here three or four days a week. So uh, your ability to build those relationships, which are key to getting things done, it takes more time. But um, I think I've, I've built some good relationships with both Republican and Democrat colleagues, which hopefully will serve me well if I'm lucky to get reelected in November. <laughs> and what do you feel you've done that's had the biggest effect on your constituents back home? Well, I hope I've represented their, their interests. Uh, there's been major pieces of legislation, obviously, from the health care bill to the stimulus bill. And I think one of my primary roles as a representative is to represent their interests. And I think I've done that. I think I've cast the votes as the majority of my constituents would have done if they were here. Uh, there's specific projects in my district that are very important. I have uh, uh, the Illinois River that runs through the 20 county district, uh, which is silting in from runoff. And I was able to secure money in a very tough budget cycle to help uh, shore up those, those uh, wetland areas and to help restore the riverway, which is huge for my farmers and the manufacturers in my district uh, and a quality of life. So uh, we've, had some, we've had some home runs on projects, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, the other thing is constituent services. You know, people that call your office that have a problem with an adoption case or they're having a problem with the federal government, even something as simple as a passport, when you solve their problem, it's very rewarding because you know that uh, without your intervention, without your, your office's help, uh, they would still be having that problem. So between now and the election, what are your plans? I'm going to go home and, and uh, uh, run around my 20 county district. I have 161 towns. It's a very large geographic area. And so I'm going to go back to the voters and uh, ask for their support and uh, hear from them what they'd like the next Congress to focus on. Well, good luck to you. Great. Thank you. Kaylee Hartung and Kaylee, we back.